Okay guys, so here's my striping trailer. There's a couple of machines out here, a couple of machines inside here that are getting worked on. Okay, we're gonna go up inside here. There's usually more cones here, but that's just it's winter time, so but what we did here is we put a flange, pipe flange fitting bolted through the floor with a piece of pipe on there. Let me just throw the cones right there. No problem. They stay right where they are. Stencils are on E-Track. These little brackets here, let's see, they're from uh, they're from Northern. They had a hook on the end here that I hacked off. Just kind of ground these down a little bit and put these in a vise and bent them up so that you know the, the stencils won't slide too much. So that's my no parking fire zone slash lane. A couple of arrows, 24 inch stop stencil. Here's three visitor stencils, three reserve stencils. This is my own little invention, you know, for eight foot stops. Um, it's the top of the S and the, the top and bottom of the S and the top and bottom of the uh, O. Everything else can be freehanded in a pinch if I don't have that stencil with me. Um, over here we got a little milk crate, metal milk crate with just a couple things in there, you know, uh, some oil, a couple cans of spray paint, a funnel, the tarp I spread on the ground, and uh, that's why I put, mix my paint on, that way we don't spill on top of the asphalt, a little hand blower, here's these auto locks, these are the, these are the best guys, you really got to look into these if you haven't looked into them, the owner's name is Al, great guy, auto lock dot, uh, auto lock dot biz, A-U-T-O, L O C dot biz. This guy is great. Um, these are the best thing I've ever seen. Um, I actually rigged up a little cable system here because I put three machines across the front. It's an eight and a half foot trailer, uh, eight and a half foot wide, so I can, you know, I can put three machines across the front here. So I rigged up a little cable here because I can't walk between the machines. So you know, I can just reach over the top of the machine, pull this cable, and it locks up if I need to. Uh, a couple layout things here. Got. 600 feet of rope there, 300 feet of rope there. My second gun kits are up on top here, a light kit. Down here we got 12 inch stencils, uh, letters, numbers, some other odds and ends. That box is full of tips and other spare things. Uh, I gotta add some things in here. I gotta put extra cables and whatnot in here. Uh, chalk sticks, homemade. I'm not paying $40 for a freaking plastic chalk stick where I can make it for six bucks out of stuff I got at Home Depot. Uh, paint mixers, drill. That's my personal drill. That doesn't stay in here. The guys will destroy it. Um, you know, a little chalk bin there. Handicap stencils. Uh, three or four different handicap stencils there because nobody ever has the same stencils. Street brooms. Shovel just in case. Um, homemade dead man. Why pay for a dead man? You can use a... $12 ammo can and quarter bag of concrete and put an eye hook through there and you're good to go. Uh, on the tongue, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna mount a box on the tongue this year. You know, this, the newer trailers have the extended tongue. It's a four foot tongue, which is, which is really nice. Um, I'm gonna have to remount, you know, uh, I'm gonna have to move the battery box on the electric brakes further up. But I got a box that we're gonna put on here and it's a, like an under the bed box so it's going to open forward and it's going to the little the top will lay on here then on top i'm going to mount a fuel cell so that'll help uh that'll help us get away from uh having to carry cans all the time it's 15 gallon fuel cell from northern it's like 200 bucks it's uh i think it's gonna be worth every penny but uh that's the trailer you know bought this trailer new last year had it all lettered up you know real happy with it so far you know i highly recommend checking out the hallmark trailers you know they got this uh they got this thing here with the um with the ramp there's no flip on the ramp anymore it's just a it's a solid one piece yeah the ramp's a little bit steeper now but uh but you're not replacing that damn piano hinge all the time so you know but uh yeah with this with this trailer i can bring six machines if need be i have i think seven of them and uh i got my three riders back here so you know, I can fit three riders and six stripers. It's tight. There's no question. You got to put them in at the, you know, in the right order. And, uh, you know, you got to, 
you know, take them out at the right order, you know, but the nice thing is that, you know, even though you can't climb through them, they're packed in there so tight that, uh, you know, you don't really have to strap nothing down because there's not enough room for anything to move anywhere, you know, between the fronts on the auto lock and, uh, the, uh, you know, and then you wedge the other ones in there and then I put a couple of, a couple straps on the rears of the other ones just to keep them from sliding side to side, even though there's not a lot of room for them to do so. You know, a couple of uh, a couple of ratchet straps. I think I only have maybe three or four ratchet straps in this whole trailer now where I used to have, you know, freaking 15 or 20 of them. And uh, nothing I hate more than ratchet straps. So uh, definitely check out those auto locks. E-track on, uh, on the stencils, those hooks from Northern. You know, they work out really well. And, uh, you know, that's it. All right, guys. Thanks.